So, what's up, guys? And it's me, Gobala Krishnan, on another episode of Drive, where I share some insider tips and my own experiences in running an e-commerce and online marketing startup. In this episode, I want to talk about CPA marketing. CPA stands for Cost Per Acquisition. And CPA marketing is actually a branch out of affiliate marketing. So it works pretty much the same way as affiliate marketing. If you have no idea what affiliate marketing means, then watch the earlier episode of Drive where I explain in detail how affiliate marketing works. So CPA, as I said, is a branch of affiliate marketing. It works pretty much the same way. With CPA, you send traffic to the advertiser's website and you will get a commission or also known as a bounty or a, a, a fixed payout when you when the visitors that you send perform a certain action on the advertiser's website so in traditional affiliate marketing that action is straightforward the visitor has to make a purchase and you get paid a commission uh, percentage based on the actual sale amount. Now with CPA marketing, however, you get paid a fixed amount for an action such as a lead, a valid, a valid registration, free downloads, and in some cases also for actual purchases. But it's always a fixed amount. So, for example, in a CPA offer, you can send traffic to the advertiser's website and all your visitors or the traffic that you send have to do is to fill up a form and get something for free or fill up a form to apply for something. And the moment they fill up the form and probably verify their email address, you'll get paid for the lead that you have just generated. And how much do you get paid? Well, it can range from $1 to $50, $75 for free uh, registrations. It depends on what uh, sector, what industry the offer is in. And as I mentioned, sometimes you can also get paid for an actual sale. But in CPA offers where uh, an actual sale is required, you do not get paid based on the sale amount. You just get a you just get paid a fixed rate. So for example, if um, it's a CPA offer that is promoting some health or diet uh, product and the product is $100, now you get paid $50 regardless of whether uh, the buyer orders one quantity of the product or a hundred quantity, you get paid for referring the paid customer and not for the actual sale. So as long as the customer has bought something you get paid for a valid uh, referral of a paid customer. So what is the big hype about CPA anyway? Now, one thing for sure, CPA has a very exclusive feel to it. So with a lot of affiliate offers like uh, ClickBank or JVZoo, you can pretty much sign up for free. It's very easy to sign up and they don't ask you too many questions and you can start to uh, promote the offers right away. But with CPA offers, however, um, typically you will need to prove that you are worthy of uh, promoting those offers when you apply to networks that have CPA offers and they will manually approve you and perhaps ask a lot more questions in the registration form and also after registration. And it seems like they are very, very paranoid about it. but. There's probably a very good reason because a lot of people try to scam in CPA offers. I mean, with traditional affiliate marketing, you get paid when you refer a sale. So there's not really that much room uh, for affiliates to scam. But with CPA offers, you get paid for free registrations. And so there's a lot of room for uh, affiliate marketers to do all kinds of stuff. Uh, including fake registrations and um, manipulating the script on the website, whatever, just to get more affiliate commissions. So the CPA networks are very, very careful about this. The second reason is that if you actually analyze the offers in the CPA uh, platforms or networks, 
the websites that you are promoting most of the time do not belong to the actual brand or the actual product owner those are landing pages and websites created by the cpa networks themselves and managed or maintained by the cpa networks themselves so in other words with traditional affiliate marketing you are sending traffic directly to the advertisers website with cpa offers the cpa network acts as the middle person in most cases not in all cases um, and they create their own website and ask you to promote their website so when you generate a lead you're actually generating a lead on their website and on the back end they actually sell those leads or uh, pass on those leads to the actual brand the actual company that's selling the product so in other words they are uh, the main sales agent for uh, the product and you are a sub affiliate whatever helping them to make sales so that's why they are very very particular to verify what i'm saying is true you can always go to uh, cpa networks that you are currently in and you can look at the uh, contact person or the affiliate manager for that particular offer and you will find that for most of the offers in the cpa network the affiliate uh, manager or the contact person is the same person who is actually part of the cpa network itself so cpa is a great way to make money um, in most cases however it's not that much different from affiliate marketing in some high payout industries like finance insurance etc they tend to be more cpa offers than actual uh, traditional affiliate marketing because there's really not much they can sell except to ask people to fill up a free registration uh, for credit card applications or loan applications etc so that's where you find a lot of cpa offers you will also find a lot of cpa offers in any industry or vertical that requires a lot of free downloads ringtones was popular at one time but i'm not too sure about it right now but anyway i'm not 100 percent cpa expert i am an affiliate marketing expert and we do have our own platform at ashadi.com that also does cpa marketing so i know cpa from both sides of the coin here as an affiliate and also as the network who runs those cpa offers so if you want to know more about uh, cpa cost per acquisition marketing then also check out the episode of drive where i do an interview with nidi pool who is an expert at uh, cpa platforms and cpa offers so if you want to get into the cpa game however it's not for beginners it's not for newbies because you will need to have some kind of track record right so you will need to have a good website before you apply and you should also know the online marketing or internet marketing a uh, game inside out so you should know how to get traffic you should know how to get a uh, pay-per-click traffic how to get referral traffic how to get traffic from other methods like ppv or cpv or whatever but basically if you're not ready to uh, sign up in a cpa platform and aggressively promote the offers and make actual commissions or or make referrals in a very short time then you should reconsider about joining a cpa platform because they're quite fussy and they don't tolerate newbies very well you may also find that it's a bit uh, difficult to get into cpa uh, platforms most of the times when you apply they ask way too many questions you know and they don't get back to you so you don't really know if your application is approved or not now there is a way of getting to that of course uh, but basically what i'm trying to say here if it is uh, if you want to make money as an affiliate marketer and you're a newbie with no website no uh, track record no proven track record you should probably want to consider cpa after you've made some commissions using traditional affiliate marketing so that's it from me gobala krishnan in this episode of drive make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel or you can also go to cradle.com forward slash drive to subscribe get the latest episodes and you will also get full access to full interviews that i have done in all episodes of drive ciao